Hello everyone, Sean Mancini here. Today I'm talking about sin attacks. What's a sin attack? So a sin attack is um, a network level attack that uh, aims to send sin packets in one direction, either by volume, so tons and tons of packets, um, or um, in, in little chunks. Um, the reason why these types of attacks are being done, or the the goal of them, is usually for denial of service. So they take uh, they exploit the TCP/IP stack. <clears throat> so what happens when you go to Google.ca, for example? So here's your computer. Sorry for my bad drawing. So here is your computer, and this is you, Bob. Okay? And here is Google. Okay. Now, when Bob <clears throat> wants to go to Google, um, the, first the first packet that is sent from the client is a SYN packet. So, SYN, which uh, I believe stands for synchron uh, synchronized packet. So, Bob sends this SYN packet to Google. Google responds with ACK. So, for acknowledgement. Okay. So, then Google responds with ACK. And then to to complete this connection, <clears throat> the client then sends a SYN ACK. So SYN acknowledgement to Google, and then the connection is established. So this is what's known as the TCP handshake, the three-way handshake. SYN, SYN, uh, SYN ACK, SYN ACK. Now, you can see this in Wireshark, for example, if you go um, capture Wireshark, then uh, uh, start your capture, go to any website, you'll see SYN, SYN, ACK, sorry, SYN, ACK, SYN, ACK, it's a three-way handshake. So, what happens in a SYN attack? Well, a SYN attack will go like this, Bob sends SYNs to Google. Google sends the ACK to the client. However, the client does not respond with the SYN ACK. So the traffic goes to Google, SYN, 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 SYN. Traffic going back from Google with the ACKs, but no connection ever gets established because the software um, you know, HPing3 or whatever you want, uh, or whatever, will intentionally not send the SYNAC. Now, you can do this in volumes, okay? So, uh, assuming maybe what Bob did, okay, was here are other computers that, um, have been infected with a virus or or something of that nature or they're part of a botnet or something Bob can have these guys all send sin okay and Google will respond with the ACK but the thing is is that every time Google receives a, a sin a little bit of memory um, is is taken uh, on the Google servers so because what happens is is that when the sin reaches Google that server is expecting that a connection is going to be established so it reserves a, a small amount of RAM to uh, accommodate for that um, for that connection now with this if I mean against a target such as Google uh, chances are you know it you're not going to overwhelm or exhaust their resources. But against a smaller target, it is very possible that you can crash the server. Uh, this is why SYN attacks 
can be known as trickle attacks. So they don't necessarily uh, sometimes use a huge amount of bandwidth. Um, but what they'll do is they'll send like 10,000 packets per second. And, and sometimes that could be enough on a lower performing server or low end, lower end server to, you know, take up a, a lot of memory. Also, in a poorly configured Apache server, uh, you know, when the website launches, or sorry, when the SYN comes and uh, a connection is generated, if so many Apache connections are open, uh, that can really slow down um, your, can, your server performance. This is also known as a half open connection. You can kind of see why it's called as a half open connection because it's not fully established. Now, half open connections also happen when like, you know, a, a session is stale and it hasn't uh, fully disconnected yet and stuff like that. But with SYN, with a SYN level attack, that's what you're going to, that's what you'll see. Now, <clears throat> in a volumetric based or even a, a trickle attack, your anti-DDoS solution, what it should be looking for is SYNs from a specific source to a specific destination that never, then we never see that SYN act. That is the first, um, that's, that's the first uh, red flag that something is up. Um, because then you know that you're only getting sin, sin, sin um, to a particular device with no sin act. Now, in a DDoS solution, no matter what you're using, like, a, you know, if you're using things like Cloudflare or Cisco or Arbor or, or DOS Arrest, um, when they see this type of traffic, they'll usually send what is known as a sin cookie. So a SYN cookie, what happens with that is that Google or the target will send uh, a piece of code to verify that, hey, what's, um, you know, it, 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 as a form of verification. And if the client doesn't respond properly to that, it will further continue dropping all the SYN requests coming from uh, the, the source. Um, and, and attempts to start dropping traffic. Uh, you also, if you have no DDoS solution, <clears throat> which I highly recommend you do, especially in the way things are going today, um, you you can on your server start rate limiting uh, SINs. So, you know, it's not practical to see 500 SINs with no SIN act from a particular client. So maybe three or four just to accommodate for the way certain things are implemented depending on the application you're using. Then after that, start dropping it. Be wary though, because in this scenario, this is just saying, hey, you know, Bob to Google on a one, on a one IP to one IP basis. When you're setting up a protection, if you're using NAT, network address translation, um, in that case, you can see a lot of SYN traffic coming to one particular IP address, but it's going to multiple different clients on the inside of that NAT. So um, you'll have to address your thresholds based on that. Um, uh, some, some DDoS providers will set up certain uh, NAT friendly rules uh, for your NAT pool versus for your server pool. Um, <clears throat> so. I hope I've explained this well. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, you can also visit me on my website, seanmancini.com, and you can also email me at any time, sean at seanmancini.com. See you around, everyone. Have a good day.